Okay, so the players making their walk down the walk of champions, passing the uh, name of Chris O'Neill, the last Australian to win the Australian Open back in 1978. A lot riding on Ash Barty's shoulders from an Australian perspective. So the moment is here. We're down to four in the women's singles and shortly we'll be down to three. I love being out there. I've loved every minute of playing in Australia um, over the last month. That's big. She yep. has ripped a couple of those cross-court forehands. Felt like I was scrapping and trying to find uh, what I wanted to do best. No matter who I'm playing, where I'm playing, I'm going to fight for, fight for it. How about that for a return of serve on set Six. point? That's courage. But certainly Sophia has shown no signs of wilting under the Melbourne sun. When I'm going on court, I'm, you know, I'm there to win. I'm there to do my job. She played the big points better today. That is a very mature performance from that young woman. And Sophia Kennan, perhaps on the way to the Australian Open final. My first plan wasn't working. I couldn't execute the way that I wanted, so I tried to go to, to B and C. It would be hard to imagine that Sophia Kennan, at 21 years of age, would be able to maintain this level for the entirety of the match. Even when she's, she's as confident as she is, I, I know that I need to go out there and play my best. That's brilliant. What about the curve on that ball? It was leaving Cannon all the way. Oh, again. Three of the best from Barty. And Cannon says, what do I have to do to win a point out here? I'm playing world number one and playing Ash, who's playing really some solid tennis, and I knew she's not going to give any free points. Oh, yes. That is exceptional. Cannon, oh, Ash, no, we need that one. Well, I believe they can win, even though I had two set points down in the first and second. You know, I've worked so hard and I've put all the efforts into my practices and my fitness and all the efforts I've been doing it got me here. What an extraordinary day it's been for the 21 year old from the United States looking to become the youngest Australian Open finalist since Anna Ivanovic in 2008. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. have to give credit where credit's due. Um, Sophia came out and played aggressively on those points and, and deserved to win. And that's long from Barty. Kenny drops her racket, puts her hands to her face. She's into her first major final. And the Australian dream of a Grand Slam on home soil is shattered. Ash Barty bows out in front of her home crowd. But today we had a worthy winner. That was a spectacular performance from the young woman. You know, not everyone gets to live this moment with this dream, and I'm just really grateful for it. You know, I've worked so hard, and I've put all the efforts into my practices and my fitness, and it's just paying off, and it's like a dream come true for me.